to my channel thank you so much for being here and watching today's video how are you guys all doing I really hope you're well and having a lovely month wherever you are in the world and whenever you're watching this I feel a little bit weird in this setup but I just tried to go to my regular kind of like talking setup and it's a beautiful afternoon so the lighting is just so like it's like perfect golden hour over in the corner of my room but it just meant that I had like all the lighting going on and the camera was not loving it so I've had to move over here so it feels a little bit weird having my bed and everything in shot but hopefully it's okay for this video and for now anyway and I am going to sort out my studio next week when I'm back from my trip so that hopefully that'll be my kind of go-to spot to film most of these videos and things like that but in today's video I thought I would basically do a roundup of some really nice kind of dressy evening looks basically kind of surrounding valentine's galentine's but can also be styled for birthdays special occasions events i kind of have gone like dressy to casual looks so i've gone thinking of like birthday evenings galentine's day evenings where you can really dress up or valentine's evenings for date nights holidays city break outfits for the evening and things like that and then i've kind of gone into very casual brunch out and about looks that are inspired by valentine's galentine's being a bit more pink and adding some color to my outfits as well so without further ado let's jump straight into outfit number one I have gone for this beautiful pretty lavish dress I've actually had in my life for five six years they still do very very similar versions of this so I'm going to link the similars down below but I just love a ribbed long midi dress because they're so comfortable they keep you a little bit warmer especially in those autumn winter months and I love how they look with black slouch coats and blazers and things like that I feel like it really can feel like an outfit's very put together. I always feel like I'm, I don't know how to explain the feeling of me wearing one of these dresses, but I always feel very put together, very glam, very chic. And I love that Pretty Lavish do so many different colors in the ones that they do. They do lots of different kind of ribbed materials. So you can go for those kind of more knit ones and then more of those kind of cotton fabric ones. So they're a bit more softer on. So you kind of have like a pick of so many different kind of evening looks and wear on their website, which is why they're probably one of my favorite brands for kind of like evening date night looks. I have so many satin pieces from them and I just feel like they they do them so so well so styling this one here just with black boots and a black slouch coat because this is kind of my go-to way of styling a lot of my evening looks especially in the autumn winter months so just layering up and then potentially having a blazer on so that I could have that on if I was going for a dinner or something like that as well next up super super dressy this dress is from Nadine Marabi I want to say I always pronounce that wrong so don't come at me for that but I'll leave a link down below this dress is a dream I feel like this is like a birthday dress this is if you've got a very 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 exciting like holiday date night happening something like that I feel like this is just one of those perfect special occasion dresses this also comes in a full suede version so you've got the suede skirt details and the shoulder pads and then that obviously sheer net detail but you also have one on the website that's completely suede so if you wanted to be completely kind of covered up rather than having so much kind of bra and skin on show then they do have that option in this dress as well and I just absolutely love it like I am one of the biggest fans of the brand I actually have my hen <laughs> my head my engagement party dress from them that I got years ago that I am saving for that occasion that I loved it that much that I was like this is going to be it and this is what I'm wearing so they have pieces that I have just loved for years and always kind of gravitate back towards for special occasions and birthdays and things like that um I just thought this was absolutely stunning so if you have anything like happening like that then I feel like this is perfect this is also going to be one of my Paris dresses that I'm taking with me because we have a very kind of dressed up girls night happening and I wanted to go full glam Talking of Pretty Lavish, this beautiful white wrap dress. So this also comes in a tan, I believe, and a black version. So really depending on what kind of things you guys love in your wardrobes and end up styling more and things like that. I don't have any white dresses like this. And I, well, I don't have any white dresses at all, I don't think. I think I go for more like black mini dresses and things like that. But I thought this was just perfect for like any kind of date nights that I have where I feel like I want to be a bit more dressy. I feel super comfortable in it could actually be quite a nice one for hen like do's or engagement parties i'm nowhere near getting engaged right now but i'm still thinking about the fact that this could work for that so this will be staying in my wardrobe for probably quite a while because i will definitely be doing like hen party 
in this at some point as well but even for just dinners nice events family events birthdays things like that I just think the structure and fit of this is beautiful I love the sleeves of this and I like the fact that you can kind of mess around how you tie the waist of this because it kind of gives you a bit of variation with how you want to style it and how you feel most comfortable in it as well next up this beautiful pink satin blouse that is also from Pretty Lavish I have so many of these blouses when someone says to me what are you wearing tonight for a girls night dinner or a date night or anything like that I'm like blouse jeans that is me done if I am stressing about what to wear I always gravitate towards the blouses I have so I have a gold blouse from them and a like sage blouse and then this one is my like new in recent one which I just love just adding some color into my wardrobe looks great styled with black accessories and more neutrals as well but I thought I'd start with blue jeans because I'm trying to be a bit more adventurous with my looks and kind of style things with a little bit more colour and just dress them up a little bit differently so I thought with the blue jeans it kind of brings the outfit to life a little bit more and then adding the black accessories just to tie in the kind of black heels and bag combo and things like that for evening. Next up, another blouse from Pretty Lavish. How beautiful is this? I definitely should have probably seen this before the video, but I got a bit excited when the parcel arrived and I was like trying everything on, filming everything straight away. But I just love the structure and fit of this. I will say I went true to size and got a size six and it is actually a little bit too big for me on my body. So I would say if you're in between sizes, I'd recommend sizing down. For me, I'm just gonna be tucking it in as a top in my wardrobe because this is the smallest size that they do, but it fits perfectly everywhere else it's just more on the body but potentially maybe that's the way it's meant to be I don't know but I like things being like tucked in or very tight and <laughs> things like that with a lot of my like wardrobe pieces but I just thought the sleeves of this are just absolutely stunning and I've styled with neutral accessories but some cream accessories here just to kind of make it feel very like chic put together ready for a nice casual date night you could easily style this with trainers as well I tend to when I'm going on like Brighton dinners and date nights I tend to wear trainers just because I feel like like a lot of the places I go to are more kind of I was going to say tailored themed but trainer themed so like everyone's kind of in trainers is a bit more dressed down however if I go to the ivy or if I go to like burn orange or two-toe in brighton I tend to wear point toe boots and things like that so potentially heels or potentially boots depending on where I'm going but I just love this blouse with the neutral accessories and pieces next up this gorgeous gold blouse from H&M I actually got this recently which if you guys watch my weekly vlog or it's about to come out my weekly vlog. I wore this for Chloe's birthday dinner and I've been wearing it quite a lot actually. It's one of those blouses again that I keep gravitating towards and I just love the fit. It's super comfortable. It looks great with jeans. It's great with like fake leather shorts and tights and boots and that kind of thing. And it comes in a pink and like a teal sage color. I'd already got the gold before I found out the pink was coming out and I was like, damn, I love the pink one, but I do love the gold and I feel like it's a classic piece that will be like a yearly all round kind of top that I can gravitate towards and then just styling with fake leather trousers here because they keep me super warm in winter they're kind of my go-to if I was going out for dinner and then maybe going out for drinks outside or a pub or being out and about and walking from place to place fake leather trousers for me are kind of my go-to for that because they just keep me super warm so yeah this is one of those looks that I've been loving lately and I always like layer up with a blazer and slouch coat with this one at the moment too. Next up very much Valentine's Galentine's-esque this outfit. This is just styling lots of those like red accessories that I have and I just love this top. I absolutely adore the shape of that. I love this kind of rose neck collar trend at the moment and this one for me I've been wearing quite a few times for some of my like girls nights out that I've been having with some of my school girls so I haven't actually posted pictures of me wearing this top but when I going out with them I wore this last week and I just love it it just adds a bit more color it's really fun and I'm taking this to Paris as well with me I think because I feel like it's a really nice city break easy like nice top and jean combo top to go for and then styling with the red platform heels here just to kind of make it feel very valentine's and very dressed up and I love these heels any excuse to wear a platform heel I am so here for so styling with those is to tie in the red pieces with more of those black neutral accessories and things like that but you could just style this down with black boots or you could just do kind of blue jeans and then like black kind of comfy trainers I could potentially do my gazelle trainers with this if I was dressing it down even more but I feel like the top is just a statement piece in this and I absolutely love it 
Next up, a very, very classic kind of evening look that I like to go for. I love styling a session skirt and black blazer combo. Potentially at the moment, like I've done here, I like doing roll necks or high neck tops just because then I know I'm going to be super, super warm when I take off my blazer or coat in a restaurant and things like that. And for more of those colder evenings, I always feel like it's a little bit more layered up. But I love a satin skirt for any kind of occasion, but especially like special occasions or date nights and things like that. I just love how they look with more of those neutral pieces and can be like that main focus point of a look. So styling with the black neutral accessories here and adding a pop of color bag and the red bag because I feel like this kind of brings it more into that Valentine's Galentine's kind of outfit. And then potentially I could put on a red lip just to kind of tie in those two pieces and make it stand out a little bit more and be a bit more dressy, but could easily just dress down slightly by adding more black neutral accessories too. Now, this suit is very, very dressy. Again, a very, very kind of special occasion outfit and two pieces that I'm just loving. I love this blazer alone. I love the trousers. Like, I love them styled separately. I love them styled together, but they are just beautiful. They're from Warehouse's, like, new collection, which I'll leave linked down below, like, my sizes and things like that. But I do really love styling this blazer with black high knee boots and then little shorts underneath because I feel like it's one of those naturally kind of slouchy, oversized fit blazers that fits, for me personally, being five foot three just above my knee so I love styling it like that as well but I mean I just feel like it speaks for itself it is so cool it's so structured I love the color I love the shape and it feels like really premium high quality as well which I just makes me love it even more next up moving on to more of the casual outfits so I've gone for very much like brunch lunch looks that could be styled for evenings as well depending if you wanted to switch out like the shoes or potentially take off the scarf like I've done here but this jacket here I've borrowed from Chloe and it's from In My Element and oh my goodness me it is an absolute stunning jacket I don't know if I can pull it off but I'm gonna wear it anyway and pretend that I can pull it off because it's just beautiful so I'm just borrowing that off her just for the next week and I just love the shape and fit of it and this scarf recently came into my life and I am obsessed with this brand. She is an independent designer. She like hand designs most of her pieces and they are absolutely stunning, like beautiful cashmere blends and wool blends and beautiful pops of color and things like that. And you know me, I love a pop of color and this scarf just screamed like, colorful happy beautiful like orangey sunset kind of vibes so i had to get this and i just love how it brings any of my neutral outfits to life a little bit more so this to me is one that i actually wore the other day for a brunch with jamie i feel like it's very kind of layered up and cozy and then gone for the classic black jeans and trainers just to keep it very like everyday and comfortable but then adding that color just to kind of bring the outfit to life a little bit more too. Next start focusing on a little bit of pink and yellow kind of pastel colors with this one. You might be able to tell that I'm really loving pastel colors right now and it's as soon as it starts to get a little bit lighter and the sun starts coming out, I start feeling very, very excited and very ready for spring and I start just dressing in pastels as much as I can at any opportunity like all those neutrals all those dark pieces I end up just styling with more kind of pinks and lilacs and things like that and I feel like my fashion and style is very much based on the weather and my mood and the season so all together they kind of change very much so out of all my outfits and depending on the day and things like that because I feel like I don't have a consistent kind of style or sense of style I want to say I feel like everything is very dependent on how I'm feeling so this one I love I've gone for classic white jeans with this one you could easily switch out for like your favorite blue jeans and style with those like pastel knits that you love and then layer up with your favorite slouch coat or trench coat this is one of my favorite things to do is kind of get more of those neutral pieces in my wardrobe get that pop of colored piece that I want to style the outfit around and just kind of add them all together. And then maybe if you have a pops of color bag in your wardrobe, using the accessories to make the outfit stand out a bit more or just going for your favorite neutral bag, just to keep it very classic, but adding that pop of color knit that you love or pop of color t-shirt that you love just to kind of bring the outfit to life, but keep it very comfy and very casual for like brunches and lunches and that kind of thing. Next up, this is a bit more dressy, but I feel like it's quite a cool kind of lunch afternoon shopping errand kind of outfit that I'm really loving at the moment. I rented this top from Wardrobe Hire, so I'll just leave the website for them down below. But I did it all through Instagram with them and 
just love the stuff that they have. They have like Christian Dior t-shirts, beautiful dresses, so much fun, beautiful stuff on the website. So they've got lots to choose from. And then this coat is really old naked fashion, but I have found some similar that I've linked down below. And again, a wide leg blue jean for me is just a classic for every day when I want to be super comfortable and in my favorite pair of like 550 trainers. I love a wide leg at the moment and I love kind of adding little bits again of like pink tones and neutral tones together. Feels very much like a spring outfit, but then layered up with like my favorite coat it always kind of makes it feel a bit more ready for that transitional look moving into spring but still very much winter because <laughs> it's still quite cold but I yeah do love this top just to kind of bringing more of those neutrals and the blue jeans together a little bit more and making it feel very ready for like days out and things like that then styling another little pink top this is from H&M I can't currently find this on the website but I got it in store in Brighton and I know that it's in store in London because when I was in there I was trying to get a size for my cousin and she was like searching on which stores nearby so I know Oxford Circus London and Brighton store have this tee it's $7.99 and I just really liked the print and I love a little red and pink combo I feel like it's a very underestimated kind of color combo that over the last few years has become more of like a trending double whammy colour combo and I am so here for it. I love it. I love them together. I love lots of like pink knits and like red coats together as well. So when I saw this top, I was like, I must have that because I feel like I'm going to wear it loads and I have. So very, very glad about that. And then starting with this neutral oversized blazer from H&M in the sale, actually. I really recommend if you're looking for a naturally slouchy oversized blazer going into H&M sale or going into the Zara men's sale because I have found some absolute gems and this was only £15. So really, really recommend going in if you are looking for one of those pieces. I feel like it's giving me Frankie shop without being as like premium obviously and like high quality but it is just beautiful and I love the structure of it and then just going for trainers and the wide leg trousers again just keeping it very everyday I feel like for me capsule wardrobe classic is my blue jeans so I wear them a lot for any kind of lunches or dress down outfits in my wardrobe as well next up the styling this knit this is from warehouse and I just love it I didn't even realize until like two minutes ago that every single flower has a tiny little pearl in it. That is really, really cute. <laughs> Although my dad just came in my room and said to me, you're wearing grandma's jumper that she knitted you, so good times. Not that that's a bad thing, I'm here for it, but I feel like my grandma would love this, to be honest. But it's got like light kind of pastely pink bits of thread throughout the knit as well, so I just love it. I love anything like that. But anyway, styling with neutrals here and keeping it as like a very kind of pastel but neutral two color rule outfit for a brunch, a nice kind of sunny walk, anything like that that you might have going on for any of those kind of date days. I always say go for a classic knit, jean combo and your favorite trainers and then you can never go wrong with a fake leather jacket it's one of my go-to's for date nights and I feel like if I was dating for the first time again not that I will be I've been with Jamie for so long I have to say that <laughs> I'm like not that I will be dating for the first time again but if you guys are going on first dates I always think to myself what would I wear on my first date if I was ever going on a first date again it would always be a nice kind of stretchy top jeans boots and a fake leather jacket and if it was more of like a day date I would go for knits like this jeans trainers and a fake leather jacket again and I feel like it's a really kind of cool comfy outfit that you can wear for those kind of occasions and things like that but for me this is definitely a brunch date kind of outfit that I'll be wearing potentially for Valentine's Day because Jamie is busy so we're doing like a pre little lunch together and I feel like I want to wear this for that anyway so yeah they are the outfits I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you have got a little bit of inspiration from the video, perhaps the pieces that you guys have in your own wardrobes, but of course, as always, I'll leave everything linked down below. And if you have any questions about any of the pieces, then please, as always, let me know and I'll get back to you in the comments. And if there is anything you guys wanna see from me, as always, let me know down below. I know I've had a request for a Wanda the Label um, like styling video, and I am, promise you I am getting around to doing that it's just we've had a few issues with stock and things like that so I don't want to do it until the stock is sorted for the brand before kind of sharing that video so that you guys are able to shop it at home if you wanted to as well but yeah thank you so much for being here and watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one cannot wait to take you away with me on my next trip that's happening very soon so keep your eyes peeled for my vlogs and things like that and subscribe if you haven't already it really means the world and I'll see you guys in the next one lots of love Bye.